I started gardening because of my children. So, well, actually my husband. So when we had the twins, I was in law school. So when I graduated, they were 13 months old. And I had nursed them for the first year, and so I was just starting to buy baby food. And Charles said, you know, we don't know who's bottling that. And so we don't really know what's in it, and we should grow the food ourselves. And I thought, you're such a freak. Because that was 1981, and not very many people were sort of, I didn't know people that were interested in, in that process. So that's how I started, because when I said, I don't know who you think has time for that, because, you know, I went to CSG in Wellesley in law school, don't you know? So, yeah. And he said, you know, uh, gardening is like parenting. They both require the same daily attention to detail, same posture of humility, head bowed, body bent. So people who don't have time to garden probably don't have time to do a good job as parents. And I was like, <laughs> okay, good point. <laughs> Gardening is important, especially in a community like this. I mean, we're going through now the conflicts around the closing of the Kroger at Northern Lights. And this is also an urban food desert, identified by USDA as low income, low access. So in this zip code, 33% of the households are at or below the poverty line. And 13% of the households don't have access to a car. And the closest supermarkets are 4.3 miles away, and it's Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. So even if you could afford that, who wants to schlep four miles with a bag of groceries? So having food available and having fresh, clean, organic food should not be a privilege. That, that's something that should be available to everybody. And so I think when it's not, gardening at that point becomes important as a social justice issue. All the food that we grow here, we sell for a dollar a pound at an on-site farmer's market. So this was a church founded by descendants of formerly enslaved Africans. And so unlike what we often see where we have community gardens in black and brown communities, but they're managed and run by Caucasian white people. And sometimes I think we are disconnected from our cultural and spiritual heritage. So we, you know, one of our hashtags is he started us in a garden for a reason. So if you're coming from the Abrahamic tradition, whether it's Judaism, Islam, or Christianity, the Garden of Eden is the central starting point of the human family. So that must mean something. And culturally, for people who are the descendants of formerly enslaved Africans, our hashtag is, we were brought here to cultivate. So this is, this is part of our history. So that a lot of times we're disconnected from the manual labor aspects of gardening, and I think that has a lot to do with unaddressed post-traumatic slave syndrome. I think that makes it hard for a lot of black people to feel comfortable doing this kind of work. So for a whole host of reasons, I think holistically gardening is important, economically, politically, spiritually, culturally, and nutritionally.